Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Guys, this is a quick tutorial for those of you that are new to Illustrator. You're working with artboards like this one here and you want to figure out how to resize them. And it's not exactly straightforward because when you go up to the top here, you'll see like file, you drop it down. You don't really see like edit image resize type stuff like you might see in Photoshop. So let me just show you a really quick shortcut. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to your toolbar on the left side. I've got the expanded toolbar, the very, very, the, the long version, but yours might look something like this. But the tool you're looking for is right here. You want to go to the artboard tool. It's this cool looking tool. And then when you click that, you'll see that the lines go around the outside. That means you're now modifying the artboard. So if you want to make it, let's say, you know, instead of 1920 by 1080, you want to make it, 1080 by 1080 for example you'll see here as I go across that you'll see width and height is now 1080 1080 that's a perfect square we've made the adjustment guys that is really all there is to it uh, there is another way here you can click on this artboard tool while I got you just in case you want to do it manually like let's say you've got a really strange number and you want to make it I don't know uh, X I don't know what what's a good size I don't know let's go with a custom right you want to you want to change it to something else like A4 or an iPhone X size, you can go ahead and click those two. You can hit these presets and you can go ahead and make those options. The last one, as you could just see here, is I've gone ahead and clicked artboard options. These are all the option guys to make changes to your artboard. You go in, you click that button here, artboard options, and now you can dial in specific widths and heights. So if you want a thousand by one thousand, done. That's it, guys. That's all there is to it. You do need to be clicked on this tool, and that's the part that often uh, catches people by surprise, especially newer users. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Got a ton of stuff coming up. Be back soon.